Dear viewers, today's media commentary is about the conflict in Syria. According to a statement by the UN, one million children have been forced to flee the country. It is a crime to not stop these little ones suffering. No less than survival and an entire generation of innocent lives are at stake. About 7 million people have been uprooted since March of 2011. Over 4 million have become refugees in their own country. The others have fled to neighboring countries. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has now threatened with serious consequences in the event of poison gas operations in Syria. US Senator McCain has in return called on President Obama to intervene in the war on Syria with military means. After the supposed toxic operation in Syria, Washington may no longer hesitate to act, according to a statement the senator made to the news broadcaster CNN. The two UN organizations UNICEF and UNHCR all the while are accusing the entire global community of just inactively watching the conflict and deplorably feigning the one million Syrian children who have been forced to flee. In order for the accused inactive global community to even become active in a manner that makes sense, Klagemauer TV will at this point go on the record about just how the USA became to be such a top military power. KTV will also record how this entire Syria conflict was even started. We first met this USA, which increasingly acts like a savior in Wild West movies. They mercilessly butchered all Native Americans until not only the global community, but also the American people themselves started loud protests. As a chameleon changes color, the US Empire changed their war strategy. They installed the Department of Defense and said they would only shoot back when they were attacked. What's said is done. In 1898, the U.S. battleship USS Maine was bombed. This was the USA's excuse for defensively instigating a war against Spain. In 1941, the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor was reason enough for the USA to join World War II. But at the latest, after the fall of the Twin Towers on 9-11, and more so after the missing weapons of mass destructions in the unjustly attacked Iraq, at least a part of the global community has realized that all sorts of aggressions have been staged to find an excuse for war. Ex-CIA agents who have backed out of this American terrorist association to soothe their conscience testify today of 10,000 smaller scale and 5,000 large scale operations of this sort in the past 40 years alone. Watch the films and reports which are noted as sources at the end. But caution, the films are not intended for children. So, if the global community is called to actively help Syria's helpless children, then this help must be a globally unified opposition against the crimes of the world power USA and their vassals. Let us be reminded that the fighters of the Free Syrian Army are proven to mostly be mercenaries and scattered fighters of neighboring countries. They are not citizens of Damascus or Aleppo, as the mass media states. They are pro-Western opposition groups who are financed by the USA. Their headquarters is installed at the NATO airbase at Inchilik. In short, US financed terrorists who attack the entire third world and cause so much confusion so that the USA can now even use their third chameleon color and fight humanitarian wars. This means that they already act as the savior of the nations, all the while continuing their old butchering wars. The CIA, ex-CIA agent John Stockwell testifies in his expertise on the CIA concerning the Marine Corps and the secret US wars. I quote, It was already in the mid-80s that I coined the term Third World War because I realized during my studies that we were not using our CIA activity to attack the Soviets. And this is it. We were attacking the people in third world countries. And I tell you what this third world war means. I believe it is actually the third most bloody war in history. We had operations in every corner of the globe. John Stockwell is the most high-ranking officer who has ever left the agency and gone public. He was head of the CIA spy operation 
in the secret CIA war on Angola in 1975 through 76. Note the further witness accounts of ex-CIA agents. The films we have in the category Bildung Uncensiert, Uncensored Education, contain two important contemporary witnesses of this kind. They uncover that the USA has not reached their goal with their humanitarian warfare. The same chameleon has already taken on a very threatening fourth color. Since the witness accounts of increasingly more high-ranking CIA agents, the US government is trying to lay the uncovered war blame on the CIA alone. They are experts at that. But according to international public law, such behavior may not even be considered. Just as parents do not go unpunished who protect their enraged children while they also execute terrorist attacks unhindered. But last not least, let us remember that the US war provocation that Senator McCain pushed on President Obama is, according to China and Russia, a provocation for a direct new world war. Because when threatening nations of the Shanghai organizations, these world powers rate such an attack on Syria as a direct attack on their own country. They thus act as security powers for Syria. They do this because they have come to realize that the USA could never be concerned with the welfare of millions of little children, but solely with bagging new resources of oil and all kinds of natural resources of the third world. In the same Wild West manner, but sadly soon in their fourth chameleon color. More on their fourth color in Bildung Uncensiert. Think about all, the, all of this thoroughly and recommend our new station. We wish you an educational day with the films from Bildung Uncensiert from our Klagemar TV team.